there are certain expectations out of a disabled woman. For example, in my culture, as a woman, you're supposed to carry water for your husband. You're supposed to do certain things, of course, like a person with physical disability like me. It is not easy to do that. And sometimes because it's not easy, I mean, you're not able to do it, uh, the community looks at you like a burden. They would not love, for example, their son to have a disabled woman because after all, will she perform the duties of a woman? In the part of my district, there was uh, conflict for 24 years and you find that the people are very poor but now a disabled woman is even more poor. They have several partners and they have so many children. Every kid with a father, this kid, another father like that and you know the fathers are not willing to take responsibility of the children they produce with disabled women. So when you go to the homes of a disabled woman there are so, so many children that cannot go to school, they are not clothed well. As a person with disability, and of course a leader of people with disability in my district, um, the vision we have for persons with disability is for them to live a dignified and inclusive life. And uh, we also have a dream to have all these barriers dealt with because we want, kind, uh, we want an environment where everyone is equal. That is what we dream for and that is why we exist. And we may choose to exist if all these things, you know, we achieve it. Whereby there is no discrimination, everyone lives like, you know, equally.